an artist back at it, this time showing you how to fix that dumpy looking Han Solo head sculpt. Okay, so a lot of you have been asking for another Black Series head sculpt painting tutorial. Maybe not a lot, maybe like three of you. So here it is, and without further ado, let's just get into it. Let's start off with Bugman's glove. Shake him up really well. There we go. So I dropped about a drop in there. Drop a little bit. Set up some water. Hey, All right, this seems pretty good. So we'll go ahead and. And right now, you hear all that air going? That's not paint, that's just air. I'm just drying it. If you want to retain sculpt, you know, the little creases and everything, you got to make sure. That's why I try to use the airbrush as much as I can, because that allows you to get thin little coats in there, as opposed to slathering it on with a paintbrush which I do towards the end, but that also adds, that also adds like some skin texture. All right, so now we're moving on to the clay one. Um, like I've said before, you don't gotta use Citadel paints. Uh, I just happen to enjoy these because they are, uh, the colors are super easy to use for this particular um, application because it just depends what I'm painting. Whether I'm if I'm painting a figure, painting a skate deck, painting a wall, painting a canvas, each one's going to require a, a different type of uh, different type of paint for for the purpose I use it for. Uh, anyways, um, there's plenty of alternative colors to flayed one that. Uh, you can find that are comparable in just like an acrylic paint. Just gotta water it down to that milk-like consistency you've heard me speak of. All right, got this guy shaking up. Let's uh, just want a little bit. It's like a drop. Even that right there is way too much. Down with a little bit of water. All right, that flayed one's on there pretty well. All right, now we're moving on to Kislev slash. Sometimes I come in paintbrush, sometimes I come in with airbrush for this part when it's um, doing the Bugman's glow around the, you're going to be going around the, the eyes, the lips, the nose, just the, the fleshy, the darker areas on the face, the human face. flesh again just to blend this in gently all right all right I'm I'm happy with how that looks played one felt flesh onto um, bridge of his nose forehead uh, highlights cheek lines um, I mean cheekbones bridge of the nose uh, uh, those areas so Overall, what we're looking at is just lightly putting in some highlights. Mm -hmm. 
Generally speaking, um, when we're looking at the top of his head, uh, most people will have, you know, when the sun hits it or just light hits it, you're going to have right here in the part, like a highlight. So you're going to want to go ahead and, and throw a highlight on his hair. The way I'm going to do this one is, this is some inexpensive... Walmart Cracker Barrel paint because I'll just go back and forth and mix this with the uh, with the rhinoxide. So as you can see right here, I'm just going back and forth with both of the the colors, just working them in. Anytime I don't like the way it looks, I just keep on working it until I get that exact highlight that I'm looking for. And you know this this is all a matter of preference so it's it's what you think looks good and coming in just cleaning up the, the details and now moving on to the eyes looks like I dropped out of frame hopefully I'll get that fixed the camera's being weird and as you can see um, the reason I'm showing this part too is so that way you guys know like it's very rare that that on the first try I nail that making it look perfect in the the eye right here I've got the micron the 005 it's a permanent pen that has the best tip for the detailing of doing the, uh, the eyelids and again you just see I'm, I'm just going through and once I don't like it clean it up move forward back and forth back and forth until I'm content with how it looks so you see nothing nothing starts off looking all nice and perfect but it's all about the details and cleaning up and when you work with your colors back and forth it's a lot easier here I'm just following the head sculpt uh, the head sculpt the eyebrows are in there you could see it so it's I'm not just making up that shape all you're doing is going through and and following the shape of the head sculpt now I'm just dropping in some highlights for the face, cheekbones, nose, brow area, um, around the lips, chin, everywhere where you're going to get the, the bright light hitting on your face. And now I'm coming in with that Reichlin flesh shade. It's like a, it's a translucent clear paint. I love the Reichlin flesh shade. That allows you to really build it up. So you just start off with really light thin coats and go ahead and start building up around your eyes, your lips, and those areas where you need the, some shade in there to give that depth perception. And again, dropped out of frame. And so I'm going into the ears and everywhere where it's gonna create like a dark shadow area because you really don't want to hit it with paint um, with just like regular paint this like I said this is more of a translucent and now moving on to the eyes back to the eyes so we clear it up a little bit and we're putting in the highlights for the, the little where the light hits on your eyes again just same same deal here just going back and forth until I get it perfect you you see me really quick in there um, sometimes I scrape off some of the paint I've got like a really sharp little toothpick or something to get in there if I've got a little bit of excess paint because the last thing you want is too much paint build up in the eyes where they look like they're popping out of the head And 
I know that skin texture right now looks a little looks a little thick at the moment but as the figure dries it starts smoothing out now we're moving on to the stubble on his face five o'clock shadow whatever you'd like to call it I usually mix up a gray and like a little bit of a uh, purplish because you still got to have that fleshy undertone and you don't want a straight gray on there because it'll look weird it needs to to look more natural and once you got that done and dialed in your figure should be looking something like this so here we got the original head sculpt looking a little boring and not like Harrison Ford and then we have the repaint right here on the left so just a, a little bit of paint goes a long way in changing the appearance of your figures you could really make these guys look very legit if you have the patience to go through and and do the head sculpt repaints i was or i am pretty happy with this how it turned out and let's go ahead and just take a look at it by itself. And here the figure is fully dried. You can see that that texture on the skin went down significantly. You can see how the gray also on the stubble, where it, it, it's a smooth transition. You never want to make anything a harsh transition. That's what makes it look weird. That's what makes it look fake. And overall, I'm happy with the results. Uh, this is a figure that I have displayed, and I think it looks really good in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.